Hiya. This week I've managed to find a bit of time to start laying a few of our hedges. So we've got just under 18 kilometres of hedgerow on our home farm here, so it does take a bit of managing. So this is a stretch that I laid last winter. I don't use stakes and I don't use binders. I just lay it down and try and weave it together. So I certainly wouldn't be winning any prizes for my hedge laying. Um, it wouldn't stand in a competition, but it's quick and it does a job, so it works well for us. So you can see, this is a large pleacher that I've laid down. We've got fresh shoots coming out of the length of the pleacher. And then we've got a really dense cluster coming out the coppiced base of the tree. It's a bit of a rough job, but as you can see, it's worked quite well. And this is what the hedge looked like in the spring. So it's coming pretty well. It's got a new fence in front of it. Hopefully it should go for another sort of 50 years now. Then hopefully in 10 years or so, it will look something a bit more like this. So here's my rough and ready way of laying the hedges. So I'm going to turn something looking like that to something that looks a bit more like that. So as I was planning on laying this section, we got the hedge trimmer to cut it back really hard a few months ago. So all the sort of dead wood's removed and it's easier for me to get in there. So I work in about sort of five metre section. So I go through, cut all the rubbish out of it and then lay it and then move on to the next section. So you can see I've cut the rubbish out of this bit, which is here. So now I've got about five or six lengths, like here. that I'm gonna lay. And then after that, I've got a much larger bit of hedge that's basically turned into a tree smaller ones before I lay them over all I do is just nip a bit off the back so that's the smaller pieces of hedge laid down so I've had a bit of a rethink about the bigger tree that I was going to leave in the hedge um, I'm going to still try and lay the one bit but the other half of it I've coppiced off so that hopefully we're going to have the big bit laid over and then a dense regrowth of shoots coming out of the bottom of it. So you can see I've just cut a sort of wedge out of the trunk and then hopefully that will allow me to pull the tree down without it snapping off the root and then lay on top of my smaller bits. And then that big trunk that's part of that tree is hopefully going to lie on top of all the smaller bits that I've laid and sort of keep them in place. That was a complete failure. <laughs> so that didn't work, but that's not the end of the world. So what I've done, I've just coppiced it off at the base. So all of this will grow nice fresh shoots. What I'll do, I'll get some of this next section, which is smaller and a bit easier to handle, laid down nicely over the top of it. So you won't notice any difference in the long run. So as you can see, the pleacher, as we now call it, is laid down, but still attached at the base. So it's going to keep growing and it's on top of all the smaller ones that I've laid. So it's going to be keeping them in place and then eventually turning into a hedge. So we'll have a load of fresh shoots coming off here and off this one that I failed, that I coppiced. And then 
fresh shoots coming out from all the laid down pieces. So there we go, another 10, 15 meters done, which is enough for one afternoon. This is a length of hedge that I laid two winters ago. Um, as you can see, it's already starting to look a lot more hedge-like now. So this is what it looked like before I laid it. So you can see all of the vertical growth from the pleachers. So this is about six foot tall now. So what we'll do going forwards is trim it at this height and in time, the hedge will thicken out a bit. <laughs> 